मैं रामेश्वरम के बिल्कुल ईस्ट साइड आई एम स्टैंडिंग राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द ईस्ट फेसिंग गेट ऑफ द टेंपल इट्स अराउंड क्वार्टर टू फोर नाउ दिस इज आवर सेकेंड डे इन रामेश्वरम एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टू बिगिन द डे एज यू कैन सी बिहाइंड मी देर इज अज क्यू टू गेट इन साइड द टेम्पल फॉर दिस फटिक और द मनी दर्शन विच हैपन्स बिटवीन फोर ए एम एंड फाइव ए एम वी विल ऑल्सो बी ज्वाइनिंग दिस क्यू शॉर्टली After the Mani Darshan, we will do the Bhais uh, Kund Snana or the 22 Tirtham Bathing. The water is said to have therapeutic properties. Click on the link above or check the description box and you should not miss this when you are in Rameshwaram. As the camera will not be allowed inside, I will quickly come back. हमारे बाईस कुंड में स्नान हो गए हैं वी हैव कम्पलीटेड द बेथिंग इन द ट्वेंटी टू तीर्थम इट वॉज इन डीड अ मेमोरेबल एक्सपीरियंस द मणि दर्शन एंड द ट्वेंटी टू तीर्थम बेथिंग टू कस अराउंड टू आवर्स इट्स नाउ सिक्स ए एम वॉट आई नीड नाउ इज ए हॉट कप ऑफ फिल्टर कॉफी एंड देन वी हैड टूवर्ड्स कृष्णा परनामी वेर वी आर स्टे बस अभी साइड वी आर रेडी नाउ टू एक्सप्लोर द सिटी ऑन द डे टू ऑफ आर स्टे हियर Today we will cover Dhanush Kodi and a few other spots on the way. We will be away from the city most of the time. It's around a quarter to eight in the morning now. We will have quickly our breakfast. There is no petrol station on the way, so better fill up the tank now. Also carry enough food and water with you. Our nashta ho gaya hai. Our breakfast is done. It's around eight fifteen now, and we will start the journey. The second place that we are visiting today is the Arul Migu Nambu Nai Ki Amman Temple. It is around four kilometers from the Ramanatha Swami Temple. What you would like here is the empty roads and the beautiful surrounding here on the way. I am shooting with a GoPro camera and had taken this uh, bike on rent. So that's the first spot, the Nambu Nayaki Amman Temple. That's the signboard you are seeing. There are two Tirthams here, as you can see, Amutha Tirtham and Deva Tirtham. As I was saying earlier, there are 64 Tirtham in and around Rameshwaram. And if I were to refresh your memory again, 22 Tirtham can be found within the Ramanatha Swami Temple. That's the Arul Migu Nambu Nayaki Amman Temple. I think here what I'm liking is the calmness of this place and the place is really beautiful. Sometimes you wish that you could just go to some calm and peaceful place. So this is one such place in my view. We are here to explore the city and its beauty and the temples happen to be a part of it sometimes. Wondering where are we going? Even I'm wondering. From the main road you need to take a diversion and get on to this road which is roughly around 1.5 km to the Jada Tirtham So I guess this is called off roading let's enjoy this off roading experience for the next 1 or 1.5 km from here Just see the view trust me you will enjoy this experience too Looks like we are the only one on the road now This is the third place we are visiting today it's the Jada Tirtham See the view once again. What I'm really liking is definitely one the beautiful view and no crowd around here. The peace and the calm I'm sure you will enjoy here. Hardly two vehicles around and looks like we are the only ones here at the moment now. Look at the sand. I don't even remember in Rajasthan any time walking on the sand to go towards the temple unless it's in a very very remote corner. This is certainly a different experience. This is the Jada Tirtham. Tirtham in Tamil means holy water. As you can see we are still the only people around we have a lot of time today quite a different picture from the early morning where there were hundreds of people in the temple and i think i'm going to sit here for some time and just enjoy this calmness
it appears to me that as we are nearing the Dhanushkodi, the places are becoming more scenic and beautiful. Just look at the view of the next spot that we will be visiting. Not many vehicles, cool breeze and this beauty which is a treat to the eyes. I am really saying you will enjoy this when you are here. This is the fourth place we are visiting today and this is the Kotanda Ramara temple. This is the holy place where Lord Rama conducted the Pattabhishekam or the crowning ceremony of Vibhishana who was the brother of King Ravana after the battle against Ravana. This kind of a signboard is really helpful to the tourists to understand the importance of the place they are visiting. Let's get inside this temple and see what is inside. I know photography will be difficult inside, but let's try our luck. That's the inside view. The paintings on the wall depicts the Ramayana story. Looks like I'll have to keep the camera inside before anyone objects. Let's move on to our next destination. I just stopped the vehicle to see this beautiful view once again before I head to the next destination. Just look at the road, it's as smooth as a butter and literally no one here. Driving is certainly fun and a memorable experience. Let me stop now. They say that journey is more important than the destination and hence I am certainly enjoying every moment of this journey of mine. I just stopped randomly and this is the view of the beach, no one around here. I somehow like water and beaches and enjoy spending my time along the seaside. Just look at my time lapse video. We must have spent on this beach all alone for almost an hour. We decided to head further and we are trying to see where there are people so that it will be safer to get into the water. Whenever you are near a water source, it's good that there are people around you. So this is the place where we decided to get into the water. So get ready to get tanned. People around me are busy catching the shells. I was surprised to find they found big conch shells here. We also lost the sense of time here and I think we must have spent an hour on this beach also. That's me in the sea and my wife was shooting this. One thing you must remember is to carry food here especially if you are a vegetarian. Somebody had warned us and luckily we had carried some fruits with us. We decided to head further towards our destination. Even though a long ride with the view of the sea on both the sides, the Indian Ocean and the Bay of Bengal, we are indeed enjoying it. It's almost now 2.30 pm. I see some lighthouse there. I guess it must be Dhanushkodi. Board they grey hair, Danush Kodi, point one kilometer Baki. Yes, we are now finally at Danush Kodi. Arichal Munai is still four point seven kilometer from here. That's the tip point we will be visiting. This place where we are now has a story to tell. It was the twenty second December nineteen sixty four when disaster hit the little port town of Danush Kodi and swallowed the whole town and took away many lives.
as a result the little town which was once a tourist spot with several pilgrims and fishermen was reduced to ruins it all started when a cyclone with a wind velocity of 270 km per hour hit tanushkodi on the night of 22nd december 1964 Overall 800 people died in Dhanushkodi alone and the overall death toll was close to 2800 Look at the broken houses and uh, churches lying in rubble The town was once a flourishing trade center with goods being transported from India to Sri Lanka There were hotels textiles and dharmashalas There was a railway station also a hospital police and tradesmen however on the night of december 22nd of 1964 all of this and more was lost This is the church which is in complete rubbles now looking at its condition one can imagine what a tragic and a scary night that could have been when the cyclone hit Someone was saying that this site the railway station used to exist here before the 1964 cyclone. This is the railway track. Looks like a narrow gauge line to me. Imagine if this would have been the railway station then how beautiful the view would have been. The railway station on one side and the sea on the other side. The entire thing is just of the past now with only memories left in the form of these rubbles. All right from the beach we head towards the final destination Richel Munai which is around 4.7 km from Dhanushkodi the video or any pictures however do not do any justice to the beauty of this place you can see how beautiful the road is here there are so many vehicles parked by the side of the road so as well you can get into the beach here if you want or at Dhanushkodi just behind the church wherever you see a crowd of people it will be safe to go over there in the waters Let me just take you around to see this beautiful view. Ah, finally we have reached our final destination, Arichal Munai. This is the Bay of Bengal. See the clear blue water, Arichal Munai, the merging point of the two seas, Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean marks the end of Rameshwaram. It is from here Sri Lanka is nearly about 18 km. The other side is the Indian Ocean. Just a quick note to the viewers, you will not be allowed to get into the waters here because of the tide. The aerial view of this place looks something like this. Modern satellite image shows a stretch of islands separated by submerged land connecting India with Sri Lanka. It is known as the Adams Bridge or the Rama Setu. The dotted line in the picture is used for the illustration purpose. Just take out your mobile and you will have an interesting SMS saying welcome to Sri Lanka even though you are almost 15 to 18 km away from Sri Lanka. So that's the funny part that I noticed here. See the color of the water of the Indian Ocean is very different. See in the picture the confluence of the two seas or how the seas merge. So this is the last point of the Indian soil. और हमारा रामेश्वर का सफर ऑलमोस्ट डन विद द साइट सीइंग प्लेसेस इन रामेश्वरम होप यू हैव एंजॉयड दिस जर्नी विद मी एंड डू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड शेयर द वीडियो विद अदर्स इफ यू हैव फाउंड द इंफॉर्मेशन यूजफुल